everyone, Eleanor here and welcome to the Hobby King Weekly Wrap. In this episode, we're going to go through new items, announce the win of the weekly competition, see what has been happening in the RC community and leave you with an update for Hobby King Live Netherlands. Let's get into it. First up, we have the new items of the week. We had an XTAR PB2 handheld portable USB charger, a Hobby King XH adapter conversion ball with PolyQuest charge plug, some micro drone two blade polycarbonate propellers, a 1530 H-King MXSR 70E, an 1860 H-King S-Bark 342-30cc, an 1860 H-King Yak 5430cc, and a 1520 H-King S-Bark 342-70E. Weekly competition time. We are currently running Crash Cash, where all you have to do is send us a photo or video of something RC that you have crashed. This week's pilots were David from Spain, who snapped off his nose and both wings. Christopher from the US, who was left with a pile of wooden pieces. Hugo from Portugal, who got help from a friend to remove the remains. Always nice to see teamwork. And our winner was Dave from the UK, who won't be putting that together anytime soon. Probably never. Congratulations, Dave, and $50 is on its way to you. To enter, share your pictures or video via social with hashtag CrashCash or enter via the Hobby King website entry page, links are below. If you don't win but your entry does appear in the weekly wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credit. Okay, community projects. Let's take a trip around the world and see what is happening in the RC community. I've got my lean on. Brandon from the US absolutely loves his Avios albatrosses and has given them both custom paint jobs as well as scale-like retracts. They look fantastic, Brandon, and thank you for sharing. M4 Tech from India has created a very interesting looking RC car boat hybrid and took it out for a drive slash cruise. A very creative use of tubing there. Jeremy from the US shared info about his current project being a scratch built RC tank. He says it weighs 280 pounds, has two speeds and can move in any direction. Amazing, Jeremy. Russell FPV from South Korea chased around Team Pro BMX with his racing drone and captured some amazing footage of them performing epic stunts. I always love seeing drone chase cam footage, but especially when it's in slow motion. Very cool. GB Linden from the US was out with his Durafly Brewster Buffalo, putting it through its paces for its third flight. Great flying there, GB. Also out with the Durafly plane was Derek from the US who took a Seafire Mark IIb up for a performance flight on 4S. Whoa, that faster than I can keep up with. Nice. Awesome stuff, Derek. And Essential RC from the UK have released a video of a giant 1-6 scale RC Lockheed Super Constellation TWA Star of America airliner, owned and built by Keith Mitchell. It took five years to design and construct and is powered by four ZDZ-90C engines. It looks incredible to the sky, just like the real thing, so well done Keith Mitchell for its creation and thank you Essential RC for the video. To contribute, visit the Hobby King community page on Facebook or email us at weeklywrap at hobbyking.com or simply tag your recent pictures or video on social with the hashtag HKWeeklyWrap and we will find it. Remember, if you happen to feature on the weekly wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credit. So that concludes this weekly wrap. If you're enjoying the show, please give it a like, share with your friends, and comment down below to show your support. I'm now going to leave you with Tom from the Netherlands with an update on the Hobby King Live event happening next week. Enjoy. Bye. Welcome to EMCR Rosenberg. This is the weather forecast for the next two weeks, and things are really looking up for the HK Live EU fly-in on 26 to 28 of July here at Rosenberg. Just some information for you guys. Plan for the weekend, Friday free flying, Saturday free flying, Saturday evening mass barbecue, lots of fun with night flying. Uh, on Sunday free flying in the morning. Between 12 and 5 we expect a big crowd to turn out because they always do and people in the surrounding areas they already know that we're doing this event so they'll be there. At that point we'll be doing some candy drops for kids but we'll also be doing a grown-up candy drop where you can win awesome Hobby King prizes which is really cool. 
Now the Sunday between 12 and 5, you can also expect that we might move around planes a little bit in the waiting line just to make sure that it stays interesting for all those people visiting us. And then we end the event at 5 o'clock with the uh, HKR auction, which is always awesome. If you want to camp, that's possible. Right where I'm standing will be the campsite at the event. Um, please, guys, do register for the camping so we know how many people to expect and we can tell that to the fire department, all of that. Um, and, uh, you know, if you come and camp with us, you'll need food, right? But we've got you covered. We'll have breakfast on Saturday and Sunday um, and we'll have either a food truck or uh, have food delivered here on Friday and on Saturday we'll have our mass barbecue and then throughout the entire event we'll have hamburgers, that kind of stuff, beverages, all at very democratic prices, especially for pilots, by the way. What do we expect? Well, basically, you can fly all the time and we'll be working with like a waiting line, right? You put your plane in the waiting line, it moves forward. When your plane is at the front, then you're good to go. You're good to go fly and the field and the sky is yours. Uh, now, we do have people helping out on that waiting line to create groups because that's one of the most fun things of this event, in my opinion, is these group flights we do. So do bring your really fast racers like the AF Extra or Dogfighter or Fun Jets. We'll put them, we'll bunch them up in a group. We'll fly and somebody will be calling out the moves, you know, so we can do it nice and coordinated. We'll do the same thing with slow flyers like Tundras and, and um, what's it called? Timbers and Fun Cups and all of that. So do bring those and bring your most awesome models as well. Really important to note that as from the first edition we had, together with Hobby King, we set out to create a flying event um, where everyone that is safe in flying is welcome regardless of the type of plane you have. So it's not that kind of event where you will only see big aerobatic planes. Um, they will be there, but it doesn't really matter what you fly as long as you are flying, as long as you're flying your behind of and having fun you're more than welcome to come. Um, you do need insurance though. So that can be either your own insurance or it's like a third party liability insurance, right? Or a third party liability insurance through a national body like KVVL, BMFA, uh, VML, all the surrounding country countries. They're all good. If you don't have specific, specific insurance for model flying, um, we can even hook you up with a weekend membership which will set you back 25 euros uh, but you'll have a weekend membership at the club and you'll be insured through KVVL, the national body here in Holland, right? No reason not to come. We've got a lot of pilots already registered but if you're looking at the weather to decide whether or not to come, look at your weather apps, you know, and register because like my father does the barbecue and he just wants to know how much meat to order, you know? So. Um, do register for the event, more than welcome, come over and we'll see you then.